What is going on guys, Greggles TV. There's a ton of cool things about having an Amazon Prime subscription and one of them is having Amazon Photos. So Amazon Photos is gonna give you unlimited full resolution photo storage if you have an Amazon Prime account. So again, your photos will be full resolution backup. So if you had a 48 megapixel uh, camera on your phone, it would back that up to full resolution. Google only does it to, I believe, 16 megapixels. So again, this is gonna be full resolution and it's unlimited storage at that, so it's amazing. So all you're gonna do though, is go into the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, search for Amazon Photos, download it, open it up. Once you download it and open it up, you're just gonna log in with your account and then you basically get to this point where it's gonna say you have free unlimited full resolution photo storage and you have a couple of options. You can do backup uh, photos and videos from this device automatically, which I would recommend because that means when you take a photo, it's gonna automatically back it up to their servers. And then also it's gonna show um, mobile data. So if you wanna back these up um, when you're not on Wi-Fi, you can do that as well. I turn it off. I, I find that kind of kills battery life and you know unless the photo is super important i'll just wait until i get back onto wi-fi when it can uh, fully upload and that's pretty much it and once you have it downloaded it, all your photos are going to be there and again it's very very easy to use i uh, have some categories at the bottom so if you click on the bottom you have sharing so it's an easy way to share your photos with friends and family then you have albums so if you want to create albums for your photos you're able to do that then you have faces, it finds faces, kind of like what Google does. Um, it'll do like facial recognition and um, yeah, it's kind of cool. And then you have options over here and in options you can order, it'll show you actually how much of the backup items you're doing so far. Like mine's doing it right now, so it's, it's gonna end up uh, uploading 53 gigabytes of data. Um, I have, you can order prints if you want to. So like, you know, like five by threes or a, album or whatever you want you can see all the prices right here and then you also get uh, family vault which is going to be like you sharing photos with other people you have places it's going to show you different places that you took photos you can do hidden photos and videos uh, device photos and videos settings which if we go into settings we have the you can manage your storage plan if you want to buy more storage because videos aren't unlimited uh, download they only give you a certain amount for that and you can buy more if you need to. You can do auto save, family vault, image recognition. You can turn that off, I believe, in here if you don't want it to recognize. Yeah, you can turn that on and off if you don't want it to recognize people's faces in there. Notifications. Yeah, so it's actually really easy to use. And it's pretty cool, I think, to be able to uh, back up your photos like that really simply and really easily at that and completely full resolution. That's the big thing, unlimited full resolution. You don't get that with Google Photos. I love Google Photos and you know, 16 megapixels is completely fine right now, but as phones get higher megapixel cameras, as you assume they would, as time gone, uh, has gone on, even though they kind of haven't in the last couple of years, this is still a cool alternative. Even if you don't want to use Google Photos, I would definitely use this maybe as a backup to that at the very least, especially if you have a Amazon Prime membership. If you don't, I'll link it down below if you wanna sign up for Amazon Prime. I think it's 120 bucks a year, or something like that. But you get all kinds of stuff. You get two years of, uh, not two years, you get uh, one to two day shipping, uh, you get uh, Amazon Prime video, you get some Twitch stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. And then lastly, once your photos are uploaded, you can view them on a computer. Just go to the link I have down below. And then also you can upload your photos from a desktop if you need to, if your photo's on there. And then you can also, if you have a Fire TV, you can use those as a screensaver of your photos. So just multiple ways to use this that makes it really, really cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.